Well, good. Good. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Kristen Clark. I am an audio and multimedia storyteller, and I'm also the creator and host of True Everywhere. True Everywhere is an immersive, journal, um, immersive global storytelling podcast. In each of our 20-minute episodes, we will use immersive audio to drop you directly into the life of someone on the other side of the world. So you'll get to meet people like Alex High, who is a, a woman of Algerian-German descent who has been fighting for 20 years to become officially recognized as Venice's first female gondolier. You'll also get to meet people like Kasha Jacqueline Nabagasera. Now, Kasha is an LGBTI activist in a country where being gay can basically get you killed. But we're really interested in the love story of her home that she has to tell. And you'll also get to meet people like Gabrielle Mayer Levy. Now, Gabrielle is a friend of mine, and he governs his life by this set of arcane, rigid, orthodox principles that might seem totally incomprehensible to you. But if you just spend one Shabbat with him, you will he'll make you want to drop everything and convert to Orthodox Judaism. Why do, why do I keep all these laws? I'll, t I'll tell you why. So imagine a museum, all right? And, and the museum's only open from two to four, three days a week. And you go in there and, and like there's dust everywhere. And, and anytime you try to look at something, the people in the museum are like, don't touch that, be careful, that's precious, that's been handed down to us for a thousand years, don't be careful. That's kind of what Orthodox Judaism is. So on the one hand, there's a lot of dust and a lot of kind of structures that aren't really supporting the, the, the original venture and, and often get in the way of it. But on the other hand, that's where the treasures are. The treasures are in this museum. So Gabrielle kind of gives you the sense. These are not stories uh, that are like that thing that is happening to those people over there. These are stories that are kind of tapping into these deeper waves of common human experience and things that will help us look at our own lives differently. So there's this myth out there that people are not into global news and international storytelling that's objectively not true. If you look at companies like Vice, a big huge part of their success has been driven by the fact that they're doing this immersive video coverage of international stories. Um, and then you can also just take a look at an organization like which is this global community of 9 million people that are willing to sleep on total strangers' couches in foreign countries just because they want to get out of their culture bubble and make a connection across a different culture and to challenge their assumptions about the world. So that's kind of what we're doing. Um, now, there are a bunch of reasons we're specifically choosing an audio podcast. A big one is that audio has this secret superpower. When you make a stereo recording and listen back in earbuds, it can give you the sense, basically it Im imitates the way that your ears naturally hear sound in the real world, kind of in 3D. So it gives you the, the, you know, di the distinct feeling of being right there on the scene, right in the middle of the story. Another big reason we chose a podcast is because podcasts are where people are going to engage in these really big ideas. So if you look at shows like Radio Lab and 99% Invisible and Planet Money, these are not shows about you know, science or architecture or finance. These are really shows about curiosity and wonder and the forces that are shaping our world. So they're doing that for their kinds of topics and we are doing it for international stories. Also, if you guys have been paying attention, on-demand audio has been exploding. It's a really, really exciting time to be getting into this field. Um, if you look at shows like Serial and Invis Invisibilia, they are getting broadcast numbers. And just to kind of give you a sense of how much digital listening is the way of the future, the entire country of Norway is totally shutting off its terrestrial radio by 2017 and going totally digital. So what's cool about this is that means that there are a whole bunch of advertisers that are rushing into the space right now. Um, and the thing about the thing about these kind of narrative, deep storytelling shows is that they have really, really engaged audiences that are pretty connected with the host, which makes them a really good fit for, um, for kind of native advertising and those little mini stories that you'll hear kind of in the commercial in the middle of a stream. So that means you can ask for a really high CPM. Some shows are getting $90 per thousand downloads, um, which is insane. Um, but even with a much more honest or a much more modest CPM, 
um, you know, like 20, you can see that it's kind of working out as pretty sustainable at that lower level as well. Um, so this is our team. I'm Kristen Clark. Most recently, I've been helping out with the launch of How to Be Amazing, which is comedian Michael Ian Black's new podcast on the creative process. My co-founder, David Conrad, is a really experienced international reporter, most recently at PRI's The World as a digital producer, um, and has reported from all over the world. And we're in contact with a bunch of really wonderful storytellers and freelancers from all over the globe that are interested in telling these types of stories with us. And I'm looking at you, CUNY people. I want your pitches. Um, so what's next for us? We are actually heading out on Sunday, and um, in the next six days or so, we are going to be riding through the canals with Alex, who you heard about earlier, um, going and reporting on our first reporting trip. Um, we are going to have our five-episode pilot season completed by September of 2015, and obviously distribution is going to be a really big, huge thing for us, so we are looking at cross-promoting on other podcasts and trying to maybe hopefully be enveloped into a larger media organization. A couple of our shortened versions of our episodes are already on the editorial calendar for PRI's The World, so we're hoping to do that with a bunch of different media organizations. So. Help me tell these kinds of stories. Again, I'm Kristen Clark. This is true everywhere. Um, I'd love, love to be in touch with you and hear your story ideas and hear what you're interested in hearing. Um, we're obviously looking to raise some more funding as well, and we're looking for media partnerships. Um, but help us get on board with this storytelling and never hesitate to email me. Thank you. Any questions for Kristen? Good. Onward.